What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Young Hawk the Five Deuce Gun. Welcoming to you a brand new episode of Radio AFG Live. We going live at 11.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on Twitch.tv. We're only one minute away from that. So, ladies and gentlemen, sit tight because tonight's going to be a Have You Played Mortal Kombat X Wednesday? Stay tuned. It's Radio AFG Live. I thank you guys for rocking out with me. As always, when the phone lines are open right here on Twitch, when we come on the air, you guys can always hit us up at 215-471-0713. That number, one more again, 215-471-0713. It's your boy, Young Hot the Five Deuce Gun. I thank you guys for rocking out with me right here. Shout out to D Mizzle, my homeboy, Fame Black, and Iron Mike off of Twitter. Follow them at those handles I just gave you. With the exception of Iron Mike, because his is Iron Mike 215. But shout out to those guys for rocking out and tweeting along with me. I appreciate you guys with the retweets and all that. Without further ado, it's time for Radio A of G Live. Let's go, everybody. My son, ask for thyself another kingdom. For that which I am is to Oh yeah, tune in, log in, cause we are live, welcome to Radio AFG Live, we right here, and we ain't moving in there, and I, your host with the most, the five news gun himself, yo, ha, What's going on, everybody? It's Radio AMG Live, your boy Young Ace and the double AK. I am him in the flesh. We getting it popping right now with Radio AFG Live, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you very much for rocking out with me. Just move off. Yes, indeed. You just move on, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Young Hot the Five Dudes, gonna thank you again for rocking out with me on this Radio AFG Live broadcast. And of course, as I said in my tweets, if you guys have been following along, today is a Have You Played Mortal Kombat X? Wednesday, even though it's about to be Thursday soon. <laughs> Shout out to the individuals who actually have played the game. We're going to be talking about the story, the moves, the control, the fatalities, the brutalities, everything that Mortal Kombat X has to offer today. Brought to you in part by Nether Realm Studios as well as WB Games. As you can see here, I have the limited edition version of it. Came with the combat pass or the combat pack pass so you can have all the four DLC characters when they come out as well as my homeboy Cold War Scorpion gave us a Cold War Scorpion joint right there you can download and then on a the receipt from the actual store I got the code for the Goro so we got all the peeps up on it it's Mortal Kombat X. That's what we're talking about tonight. Phone lines are going to be open, of course. 215-471-0713 is that number. That number one more again. 215-471-0713. All right. So, we don't have to go through a refresher course of what Mortal Kombat is. You guys can see the Scorpion poster from the limited edition behind me right there. Apologies, I had to get some drink. But anyway, as you've seen... Mortal Kombat through the years have changed in many different ways. They've tried many different iterations and many different styles from the 2D digital graphic capture of Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3 to the new combo systems of 3 Ultimate as well as 4, getting into the 3D realm, introducing more stage traps and instant deaths in games like Armageddon or Deception, and then revitalizing the franchise and bringing it back with uh, 2013's Mortal Kombat that came out on Xbox 360 as well as PlayStation 3. The game was off the chain and it brought us back to Mortal Kombat. The combo system was fairly simplified in terms of what you had to do for Mortal Kombat and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3's combo system as compared to how you do it on here. Mortal Kombat X basically returns to that nature in terms of how the combos are pulled off. It's a little bit more trickier on this one and you can pull off different things on there as well at the time so when you have different characters who I don't know you were probably 
really proficient with when you were playing Mortal Kombat X. Now that you're not playing Mortal Kombat, I'm sorry, when you're playing Mortal Kombat, which was considered Mortal Kombat 9, some of those characters have been slightly altered in ways uh, in terms of their move sets, in terms of their special moves like the Spear from Scorpion and the Freeze from Sub-Zero, they remain intact to what you guys remember, but string combos will not be the same. I mean, it'll be a little bit familiar to you, but they will not be as easy to pull off as they once were. What is a little bit easier to pull off are the juggle combos a la Tekken. It's a lot of juggling that goes on in this game. I mean, not a lot, but there can be. I've seen some pretty good combo guys, but then I've seen guys that just play with Kano and throw knives all day long. So, you know, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Uh, it's good for hardcore fans as well as casual gamers because it allows you to get in the game, learn the fatalities, learn the moves. If you really want to get in depth with it, they have the full character move list as well as fatality list. And you can unlock the other fatalities as well as their brutalities by doing things in the game, playing through different living tower challenges as well as unlocking them via the crypt that is returning to Mortal Kombat's franchise. You can go back to the crypt now and you would be walking around different areas of graveyards and catacombs and spider tombs and things of that nature, opening up different tombs and things that'll give you artwork, different character skins, secondary fatalities and brutalities, and thus forth and so on. The story basically is centered around the newcomers that are the new combatants inside the game. Uh, Jackie Jax, the daughter of Jax, um, Jackson Briggs basically. Um, Cassie Cage, the daughter of Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade, Takeda, who is the son of Kenshi. If you guys remember Kenshi from the Mortal Kombat 4 and things of that nature, he was the blonde samurai. And uh, who's last but not least, Kung Jin, who is a distant cousin of Kung Lao. Uh, all four of these characters control excellent. I played with each one of them in various forms. Each character comes with three different variants. So you have a lot of time to put into this game if you really have a lot of time to put into it. It's not just something that you'll pop in, play the single player mode, and then it's over and you're trading it in. There's a lot of depth to the game. Each character, even if you have favorite characters that are iconic franchise favorites, such as Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Melina, Katana, Johnny Cage, Sony Blade, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Raiden, and, and so forth, the list goes, you have three different ways to learn how to play with those characters because each character has three different variants. One of them being, uh, one, first of all, they all have a set list of special moves that they do and their combos based on the fact that they're legacy moves, but then each variation has different sets of special moves that they can do uniquely only to that specific variation. So, playing with Sub-Zero, I'm getting proficiently good with the Cryomancer version, but then they have the Unbreakable version, and there's another one as well, but... The way you're going to get into it, you get into the game, you do your practice and you got to do the tutorial to start you off and get you into the game. You'll play the story mode and we'll get into exactly how the story mode is shaping up thus far because I've been playing it when we get back from the next musical break. If you guys got requests or if you got music that you want spun nightly on the show, all you got to do is send your information via MP3 to the Deuce Gun at gmail.com. That's D-A, the number five, D-U-E-C-E. G-U-N at gmail.com and I will get that music played for you for free 99 because this is Radio AFG Live and we are known as the independent platform for independent artists and entrepreneurs. <laughs> We're getting into the first track of the evening and as always we kicking it off with yours truly your boy Young Hock the Five Dudes Gun. Well I can't say as always because this track is fairly new but for the past couple of days this song has been getting popped off not only on here but as well as on SoundCloud so I thank everybody out there for listening to it and shout out to my nigga J-Mac Mr. 215 for sharing it and getting it out there as well. But the track is entitled I'm On It featuring my main man Mr. 215 right here on Radio AFG Live. Let's go. AFG nigga. Sorry. Don't let him 
my why Cause you're all young, hot coming after your eyes look good But I is in the hood, so that nice baby head get pulled by the floor Them ex been the double A K I am The fire dude's gone, why cause I say I am Planet on this planet, baby on the concrete Blue bar getting cracked every time high key Get on the track with the front the bad at your neck with a 215 AMG, we pop the tag with it Get attached to us real quick is what they do See that money they act funny, that's still what you do Bummy niggas all of a sudden talk and swag You too old being damn, not a mother nigga fag You don't get it, don't worry about us We do this shit all day and all night What the fuck? I'm on it, I, I, I'm on it, I'm on it, I, I, I'm on it Smelling everywhere, niggas know about the one. Never been no fingers and no bitch, nigga. I hustle hard, I grind to get rich, nigga. You disrespecting, you get hit up with this fifth, nigga. I take it right from the tippy, no gift, nigga. They don't know about me, now what I do, man. I be rocking, I'm always with my crew, man. To the sun and the moon, turn blue, man. We gon' do what we do, it's the crew, man. I'm on it, 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 I'm on it. Like we stole something, ladies and gentlemen. It's Radio AFG Live. Once again, it is that Have You Played Mortal Kombat X Wednesday night? Have you finished somebody yet? I have a couple of videos up of Mortal Kombat gameplays. Uh, actually, not gameplays, I made fatality videos on my YouTube page. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash 5 Deuce Gun. That's youtube.com forward slash the number five, D-U-E-C-E-G-U-N. Uh, I have, like I said, two part fatality videos. Uh, one, the, the first one is everybody's first fatality. The second one is everybody's second fatality. I believe the only exception of the second fatality I didn't pull off was Goro's because I didn't unlock his second fatality at that time. But don't worry, I'll put that in a future video, but they both are up. And later on tonight, following this Radio AFG Live broadcast, there will be a, a new episode of Let's Play Live going on live right here at twitch.tv forward slash the 5 Deuce Gun. We're going to be playing, uh, let me see, let me make sure I get this right because I don't want to say anything wrong. We're going to be playing Yacht Club Games. I wanted, I wanted to, I didn't want to say Club Yacht because I was for some reason I had Club Yacht in my head. But we're going to be playing Yacht Club Games Shovel Knight on the PSN. So make sure you guys check that out. Shovel Knight tonight live on Let's Play Live here on Twitch.tv following Radio AFG Live. We get to popping. Now, as I was letting you guys know before we went to the musical break, by the way, uh, that track, I'm on it, is going to be on that, that thing right there. Right there. Huh. 
that off his wig again mixtape coming soon to datpiff.com as well as mixconnect.com and a few other uh, mixtape websites. So look out for that. It is my track featuring my homeboy J Mac. Uh, the beat is produced by homeboy Saru Beats. S A R U B E A T Z. Look him up on Twitter as well as listen to some of his beats that's available right now on YouTube.com. I have been a little bit into the story mode on this Mortal Kombat joint. Uh, I'm about chapter 12 or 13, I believe, into the story mode. Um, I believe it makes you play as literally almost everybody in the game uh, per chapter and things of that nature. They tell it in an awesome like movie production. I would like to see this. Like I wouldn't have minded. Let me put it that way. I wouldn't have minded to see this as a CG movie the way with all the movie minus the fight scenes. I'm not saying the fight scenes are bad because you're controlling the fight scenes, but as a fan of the series, I would not have minded seeing Mortal Kombat do a CG movie like that with the graphics they're using in game as well as the graphics that are in game or the graphics they're using in their cutscenes. So to see what they pull off in the game, I don't want to give away the story, what it's about the plot or anything because there's some individuals that still don't have Mortal Kombat X and who haven't played it, so I don't want to give away the story. Like I said, it basically centers around the, the newcomers of Takeda, Kung Jin, uh, Jackie Jax, and Cassie Cage, and them helping basically fight, you know, an outworld rebellion, so to speak. And you guys can take it from there, because basically every Mortal Kombat is that. Earth Realm trying to save itself from outworld, so you guys can dig into that and take a look at it. I just don't want to give the story away myself, because I don't want to ruin it for any gamer out there. You did. That's why I haven't done a uh, a video of the story mode yet. I've done just the fatalities because I didn't want to post any of the stuff up. It's still early. I got the game the day before it came out for a midnight release at the GameStop. Won a tournament as well, so I want a free copy. I'm going to be giving away a copy next month for a lucky fan out there that's subscribed to my YouTube and Twitch pages, so you guys look out for that. But with that being said, I had the game the Monday before it dropped, so it was awesome. I was playing it. And to have had it that little bit of time, there's other individuals that still playing through it who did not go to the story mode first. They went directly into online battles with their friends, and that's fine. But I didn't want to post up any of the video of the gameplay footage because I didn't want you guys getting upset because you didn't see the story mode stuff on your own version of the game. And yet you're watching somebody else's YouTube page and it clearly states Mortal Kombat X story mode gameplay. But I digress. The story is great so far. Like I said, I'm about to the 13th chapter on it right now, or the 14th. It's, it's in between 12 and 14. I'm on those one of those chapters of where I left off. Um, it's beautifully done. And as I said, if that was a standalone movie, I would have gotten it. Shit, Resident Evil Degeneration was awesome. I dig the movie. Resident Evil was killed a couple of just digitally animated flicks, and they were hot to me. So, with that being said, I wouldn't mind seeing Mortal Kombat do that. And they just made because, like I said, this is another relaunch for the series. Ever since Mortal Kombat came out on Xbox 360 and PS3 a couple years back, they killed that on the launch. Now they got Mortal Kombat X on their hand. There's been millions of matches online played. I played a few. I'm like four and four online in ranked matches. Uh, but there has been a plethora of fatalities, thousands of pints of blood spilled, awesome brutalities pulled off, crazy combo strains created. And all of that from the folks at NetherRealm Studios and WB Games. Thanks, guys. It's an awesome title. I'm going to come back from the next musical break. I'm going to make sure I describe to you guys the whole new, but not so new, brutality system. I'm pretty sure those of you who are playing Mortal Kombat and have played it over the years know that the brutality system was introduced around Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 when it was released for consoles like Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis and later on on like Mortal Kombat Trilogy on Nintendo 64 and PlayStation 1. There was, let me see, 11 to 12 button presses that you had to pull off in order to make that uh, brutality come to fruition. In order for that to happen, you had to do a combo of move button presses that you had to pat, 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 And then after doing it, hopefully if you did it fast enough and in the order it was meant, the screen will turn gray. You'll do a super ultra combo a la Killer Instinct to where the ending blow is an uppercut and your opponent's body blows up into an unrealistic amount of bones, rib cages, skulls, legs, arms, feet, and everything else. But 
that's not what brutalities are anymore. We'll get into it a little bit more when we get back from the break, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, we are about to get into the next track of the evening. This one right here is from the homeboy Kyle Rod, and the track is entitled House Party, live on Radio AFG Live. Let's go. Radio AFG Live with my boy Young Hawk. Let's get it. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. It's your boy Young H to the double A K. I am him in the flesh. It's Radio AFG Live. We right back at it like we never left. The track you just got finished listening to was from the homeboy Kyle Rod, and it was entitled House Party right here on Radio AFG Lives. Have you played Mortal Kombat X Wednesday? You guys want to holler at the homeboy Kyle Ride? You can follow him via Twitter. Hit him up on that joint at Kyle Ride underscore 96. That's at Kyle Ride underscore 96. C A L R O D underscore 96. Make sure you guys hit him up. He do features and things of that nature. We get to popping, man. Right here on Radio AFG Live. If you have music from my fault, and I want to let y'all know he's from Georgia to Virginia. Georgia native, Virginia resident, the homeboy Kyle Ride. 
And thank you very much. Shout out to the homeboy Kyle Rod and the team over there with his label and his peoples because they sent the music over for us to play. And not only was we playing it, he made it on Street Heat Volume 2. Volume 3 is on the way. Now, I said I was going to explain the new level of the brutalities on Mortal Kombat X. As I described in depth but briefly uh, before the musical selection just played, Previously on Mortal Kombat Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, the alter, the uh, brutality was introduced on the console versions of the game. Uh, you basically pressed about 11 different buttons. I'm trying to think. I think it was about 11 or 12 buttons you had to press in succession. High punch, high punch, low punch, high punch, high kick, low kick, high punch, rap, high punch, block, low punch, high punch, run. Like, it was crazy. And after doing it, the screen would turn gray. Your ball get beat the hell up. Boom, your body blow up to 100,000 bones, multiple rib cages, legs, feet, arms, and heads. But it is what it is. It's Mortal Kombat. It's called tongue-in-cheek humor, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Nowadays, with the revitalization of the franchise from Mortal Kombat on the 360 and PS3 to now the newly released Mortal Kombat X, my bad radio AFG logo, with the new release of Mortal Kombat X, you now have <clears throat> the brutalities being a amped up version of a special move that your character already possesses. Now, they range from easy to hard to pull off, not in terms of the special move itself, but in terms of the circumstances that must be met in order for the brutality to take place. Different characters have different brutalities, which have different characteristics, some pertaining to strict or only strict variations of the character, only certain variations of that character could do said brutality, then there's about one or two that they can do universally regardless of which version that you pick. Uh, I'll give you a case in point. Sub-Zero, um, who I played with a little bit, um, I, I've actually done uh, Kung, Kung Lao's uh, brutality first. His was the first one I wanted to do. Pulled it off. It was awesome. But I'll tell you about that after I describe Sub-Zero's. Um, one of the... So uh, one of the easier fatality um, brutalities that you can pull off with Sub-Zero has to come in the later round. It has to be above 40 seconds, no later than 40 seconds remaining on the clock. The move you have to pull off is freezing the opponent and uppercutting them with any version of the Sub-Zero, any variation of the Sub-Zero that's up there. There's three versions of each character, so any variant of Sub-Zero that you pick can do this. You freeze the character and uppercut them. When their energy, when you know that they only have a little bit of energy to where if you uppercut them, they will die, and it will say finish him, you will freeze the opponent, and when you go to do the uppercut this time, as opposed to it just knocking them down in the screen saying finish them, the person will be stuck there frozen, their fucking head will fly off, blood will squirt out of that joint in realistic fashion, and it will scream out brutality sub-zero wins, ladies and gentlemen. That is the way to pull that one off. When you have another version of his move, there there's another brutality, and it's his this actual freeze. It could kill you instantaneously, and that is a brutality. I believe this one is actual any variant of, of Sub-Zero. Uh, it has to come, like I said, in the later round. Your opponent has to be at health to where if you double freeze them, they will die. Now, would that be, would that, what I mean by double freeze, in earlier Mortal Kombat, if you were through the ice at somebody with Sub-Zero then threw it again. When they got frozen, you would freeze yourself because you threw it at them twice. On this Mortal Kombat, when you throw the ice at them, they'll be frozen in place. If you throw it at them again, it'll knock them down a la a Hadouken or something and it'll make them fall because you hit them with two consecutive ice balls as opposed to you actually being frozen in place because you threw two ice balls at an opponent, which is a welcome addition to the series. Good job, that boom. This one, as I said, has to be about 40 seconds of uh, clock. You got to have over 50% of your health. The opponent has to have low health. And you have to be a full screen distance away. You freeze them and then do the extended version or the enhanced version of the freeze, which is doing the motion and then also hitting the block button on top of the command button that it takes you to throw the freeze after doing the motion with the controller. If you've done it correctly, the person will be standing there frozen. The second ice will hit them, their body will completely fucking explode, and brutality sub zero wins will ensue. There's another one Kung Lao, as I was telling you. Kung Lao's brutality, one of his brutalities, each character has about five, five to six. I think they have six. 
because there's one specific, no, they have five, because there's one specific to each variant, and then there's two that any of the variants can do. So there's five brutalities, two fatalities, and two faction kills that each character possesses in order to be able to finish you off. And as I said, we're talking about brutalities right now. We'll get into fatalities and uh, uh, faction kills in a second. But in terms of the brutalities, they are no longer the ultra combos they used to be. They are now an enhanced version of your move that will instantly kill your character as opposed to their energy depleting and the guy saying finish him. Kung Lao is one of his with any variant. He has a throw that he does normally by tapping the L1 button or the LB or the L trigger on Xbox One, depending on what system you're on. Um, when you tap that button or press the square and X button together on PS4 or the X and A button together on the Xbox One, that is the standard throw for any character. Kung Lao's throw, he grabs you, bends you over your knee, and punches you in the face a whole bunch of time over his knee while he bends you over his knee. In the later round, in the second round, when the energy of the opponent you know is going to be defeated, they get caught with that move. You had to have already hit him with that. The last move that you hit them with had to have been that throw. Then, when their energy is low, do the throw again. Continuously rapid fire, press on the punch buttons on the controller, and and. At this point, the screen will turn gray, and Kung Lao will finish that off by three vicious punches that will literally rip the opponent's head off and have it hanging by a little bit of the skin left on the neck. It is crazy, and that will lead to brutality. Kung Lao wins. I hope you guys got a gist of, you know, how brutalities work. Each character has several different modes of brutality, each one coming in a variant of difficulty to pull off ranging from easy to extremely difficult some of them you have to have five percent energy left on yourself and also make sure that you meet the criteria of whatever that move being being the last move that you hit them with like johnny cage for instance johnny cage has a shadow kick now when you're playing with the super i think it's with the superstar variant when you're playing with the superstar variant the shadow kick that johnny cage does can do a brute can be turned into a brutality in the latter rounds you have to have 5% health yourself and be next to death and then do a charge version of that upside down shadow kick. When you do the motion, you just hold the button along with the block button that adds on. If it connects with the character, because it has to be the red flag version and it only turns red once you have 5% energy left. Once you charge that move up, and if it connects once it's red, it'll kick the opponent's head off in their upper torso. It's crazy, check it out. Mortal Kombat X Brutality, Johnny Cage wins. <laughs> About to get into another musical selection on the evening. I just want to let you guys know, once again, brutalities are enhanced move or enhanced versions of special moves that your character already has, and they'll just instantly kill your opponent as opposed to their energy depleting, and you just hear, finish him, come up live on the screen. So that being said, make sure you guys look out for that. There are so many different ways to do brutalities on there. I haven't done every character's brutality. Once I learn each and every person's, and I'm gonna learn them on my own. I don't really wanna buy a strategy guide or anything like that for a fighting game. I really don't wanna do that. So what I'm gonna end up doing is just figuring out, cause each person's move I'm sure is one of those things. And I'll just figure out which variant you have to be in in order to pull said move off. I will make videos for that. Just like I did the fatality videos on, uh, the fatality videos that's on my YouTube page right now. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. All right, we're getting into the next track of the evening. This one right here is coming from North Philly native, the homeboy Danny Cash featuring AO. And this is the Heaven of Hell freestyle live on Radio AFG. Let's go. I'm hearing guns spray while I'm watching my son play. Made a promise I get him out of here one day. I hope the smile is a sign that he trusts me. I tell his mom I'm leaving, she tell me she loves me. To make it back, it's not a guarantee. It's clear to me, I'm walking around with the flare on me. I see the Reaper, but I'm hoping he ain't here for me. I'm praying on the deli, but it's like they know they're hearing me. Could take a stroll through the north side. Where everybody on go, holding four fives. 
With all blessings from the most high We get paid, stay off the way, stay the most fly The Glock's murking, hustlers is out serving Moving squares, so yeah, the cops circling Gotta play a role with no time for rehearsing A nigga court slipping, the stick is his black hearses Empty clips is a reason for packed churches Youngest with no direction and lack purpose And that's only the scratch surface It's crazy when the poem is amazing, but get yeah, certain Get a bundle and hit the block that's working And if you got some eyes on you, that's curtains Moving fast was just something the track surging Never fuck, fresh out of luck, you ain't lurking The ass hurting for the pain when I step When I'm left, I've been in this game, I do my thing as I rap It's a bet, it's out of chain, right to the name of the check Not a threat, I promise I'ma put this wave shit to rest And I'm fresh, check out my J's, these bitches checking for change Some haters checking their hip, when they see me check it's a shame And got me checking my rear reef for stepping out of that thing Fuck it, I move for mine. Joke shit gets exposed, I make my moves on the calm. Nice nigga that seen it, I show and prove with the grind. Talking like millionaires, but your pockets like you's alive. Be thankful that you's alive. I come from a city where the guys get crucified with nines like super ties. I'm going to go to the shoulders. Bullets hotter than sonas, get left by your right hand. I'll kill you to come and warn you. Try to figure out if this happened to hell. Cause if you call this heaven, I'm ready for hell. The squad riding, they ready as well. They stay with doors in their faces, head is ready to fail. But when the world got a hand, boys, stand and grant them no doubt, got a prayer for you. Said when this world got a stand on you, stand and grant them no doubt, got a prayer for you. Some niggas go to jail. Some niggas go to jail. Some niggas go to jail. Heaven to hell, freestyle right here on Radio AMG Live, ladies and gentlemen, you know what it is. The independent platform for independent artists and entrepreneurs, Radio AMG Live. <laughs> yes, indeed, yes, indeed. That was the homeboy Danny Cash featuring AO with the Heaven to Hell freestyle available on that Ready, Set, Grind 2 mixtape as well as on Street Heat Volume 2. So you guys can make sure you can check that out right now via datpip.com, either one of them right now, datpip.com, check them out. If you want to follow Danny Cash, you can do that via, I believe, Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter, Danny Cash 215 that's D-A-N-N-Y-C-A-S-H-215 for Danny Cash, and the homeboy AO can be followed on Twitter at you know AO. that's the letter U-K-N-O-W-A-O, make sure you hit those guys up, they do good work together. Danny Cash is set to drop another project soon, so make sure you guys look out for that. He keep uh, all the, his fans and everybody, all his followers, in tune to what be going on. So follow the boys so you can learn when all of his shit be dropping as soon as possible. As I said, tonight is a Have You Played Mortal Kombat X Wednesday right here on Mortal Kombat. I'm sorry, Mortal Kombat on Radio AFG Live. And uh, pretty much, we got through the story. I just talked about brutalities. Now let's talk about the fatalities. The fatalities are as gruesome and as graphic and descript as ever. I mean, think about these consoles that these games have come out on. Mortal Kombat X is released now on the Xbox One as well as the PlayStation 4. The graphical prowess of both of those systems, while the Xbox is a little bit lagging, they can show some crazy graphical fucking situations so when you guys see something like uh i don't know i'm gonna give you one of the most basic that people have seen uh like sub-zero there's one will come to you hit you in your chest and freeze your midsection area then blow it out to where your guts are exposed and you can see your spine he puts both his hands inside your motherfucking stomach and that hole snaps your spine then lifts you up and then rips you in half blood splatter sound effects is all authentic 
The look of it is crazy, and that's just one of the gruesome fatalities that's in Mortal Kombat X, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't already have it, or if you want to talk to me and you do already have it, you want to tell us about your experience, the phone lines are open. Or if you have a musical request, you want to hear a certain song from somebody, whether it's an independent artist or industry artist, hit us up right now. The phone lines are open, 215-471-0713. That number one more again, 215-471-0713. As I stated, the fatalities in this game are way more over the top than they were in the previous Mortal Kombat. While they still have some that retain humor for tongue-in-cheek, like one of Aaron Black's uh, fatalities, he takes a little orb of sand, he shoots you first, throws the sand in that bullet hole, then shoots that sand bow that blows up inside your body and your ears, eyes, and everything pop out and you're just spewing sand out of every open orifice. That's some of the tongue-in-cheek humor that Mortal Kombat is known for. True. It's not like you had, you know, a, a bunch of fatalities that was just like, ah, that's going to suck. I don't think there's any, and I've seen every fatality now because I've made both the videos. Go check them out, youtube.com forward slash 5 deuce gun. That's youtube.com forward slash the number 5, D-U-E-C-E-G-U-N. Check it out. I got part one and part two of said fatality videos up there. I'm warning you now. Because the game, and I'm not just making this up, ladies and gentlemen, follow me for a second if you will. The game is rated M for mature, for blood and gore, intense violence, and strong language. If I'm describing fatalities and brutalities and things of that nature to you, please don't be a little kid that's not able to see stuff like that and then go look at it and get weirded out. I'm telling you right now, I've done fatalities next to grown people who sat here and watched this game, and they going... Damn, and this is a video game, and they blocking their face. And it's a video game. Ultra realistic, super graphic, ultra bloody and gory. It's Mortal Kombat X, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a reason why I was rated M for Mature. There's a fatality. Two of my favorite fatalities come from Kung Lao. His first one, he takes off his hat, throw, spins it, and throws it on the ground behind him. The hat, as you know, Kung Lao's hat has blade that could cut through shit on the rim of the hat. So the blades of the hat is just spinning in rotation on the ground behind Kung Lao. He takes your character, trips them on the ground in front of the hat. Now their face is laying right in front of the hat. He takes his foot and steps on the back of their head. Their fucking face just zzz, 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 and gets split right the fuck in half. That's one of the most gruesome fatalities in the game. Awesome. It's awesome. His second fatality is called the flower pot. It starts off by him slicing your head off. It's starting to take his head off, wham, real quick. Your head flies in the air. It shows the eyes roll in the back of his head as it's flying in the air. As your head's flying in the air, Kung Lao makes several slices on your torso, upper torso. Your head falls back down, bam. And it looks like a fucking flower blooming and splitting open in the middle. Hence the name, Flower Pot. Awesome to be some Organs, intestines, Speaking of which, there's one that Ermac pulls off where he telekinetically lifts his opponent in the air from a distance and then begins to pull their organs out of their mouth telekinetically without touching them, balls one up and just have them dangling in the air with their intestines hanging. It is crazy gruesome. Once again, it's Mortal Kombat X, folks. Fatality. Even the, even the Radio AFG Live logo over there acting a fool. Because he, he, he tricked me because he didn't even like the description of how these fatalities sound. If you don't already have the game, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you guys go right ahead into a GameStop or your favorite video game retailer's electronic connoisseur spot and grab Mortal Kombat X. It is definitely worth the wait. We're about to get into another musical selection of the night. When we come back, we're going to talk about Faction Kills. To wrap up that portion talking about Mortal Kombat X, that is the third way to kill people. We don't have brutalities, we don't have animalities or friendships confirmed. There hasn't been any talks about DLC for those type of kills. So stay tuned for further updates on that via my YouTube page and Twitter.com. You can follow me on Twitter at the Real Young Hawk. That's D-A-R-E-A-L-Y-O-U-N-G-H-A-A-K. And I'll keep you guys informed with the latest news as soon as I get it. We're about to get, as I said, into this musical track of the evening. And as always, remember that usually Radio AFG Live comes to you Monday through Saturday, 11 p.m. to 11.30 for the live feed and 11.30 to 11.45 for the extended podcast via blogtalkradio.com. The number you can call when we're online on Blog Talk is 
917-889-7063. And then we come right over here at 11.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Radio AFG Live. And we be killing it right here on twitch.tv forward slash the five deuce gun. That's twitch.tv forward slash D-A, the number five, D-U-E-C-E, G-U-N. Ladies and gentlemen, we get it popping on this show. If you got music you want spun nightly or if you want to be a part of a Radio AFG Live sponsored mixtape, all you got to do is send your MP3s and the information through to Gun at gmail.com. That's Gun at gmail.com. D-A, the number five, D-U-E-C-E, G-U-N at gmail.com. And we'll get it on there for you for the low, low price of free 99. Next time we're about to play on this point right now is from yours truly featuring my homeboy, J. Mack, Mr. 215, and the track is entitled, I Told You, live on Radio AFJ. Let's go. And the truth is right here with it Your boy Young A check us off of his wig Once again that's the way that I spit it I thought that I showed you something But I figured I told you something I did both when I did it Toast and I clinked the glass You ain't spit with nothing Work me the crown nigga Here's the bar you better juggle them both while that cause I think you a clown nigga And here's my dick for your bitch you can choke Nigga, whoa nigga This ain't something I wrote nigga It's off of my biscuit, it's off of the bitch And it's off of the different dick for my folks nigga I told y'all, Spy Girl from Vegas was different than all of them. We put it in position, that radio station, I'll be playing with all of them. They loving your boy, and I'm about to get my shit on Pandora. We ain't talking no Jews, but then again, movies be making me wear it, your bitch in the quote. She talking to y'all, she calling your phone, she calling you fraud. She got on your show, she calling you old. You looking at her like, who the fuck is that bra? Pocket sender. But niggas, I told you that when you do dirt, you gon' get dirt And this way, those niggas just got molded, see, I told you I told you so. 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 I told you so.
Radio AFG Live, ladies and gentlemen. Young Hawk of Five, Deuce Gun, J Mac, Valentine Beats, I told you. This is the West Coast Demi Goddess J Star. You know where you can find me and other hot independent artists out there. And that's on Radio AFG Live with my boy Young Hawk. Let's get it. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Y'all know what it be, man. We right here live. It's Radio AFG Live. It's your boy, Young Hot the Fire Deuce Gun. We back on this Have You Played Mortal Kombat X motherfucking Wednesday, now Thursday. We already went over what the beats was going to be. I'm saying beats, not the beat, but we already went over <clears throat> fatalities, brutalities, as well as the story mode. Now we're going to cover the faction kills. Upon playing Mortal Kombat X for the first time, you'll be prompted to join a faction. They'll have an introductory video about it, describing everything about it, and giving it to you in full detail, so I don't want to give that experience away. I want you guys to sit down and enjoy that yourselves. But basically, there are five factions in the game, ranging from Lin Kuei, the White Lotus, the Red Dragon, a couple of others. Of course, I chose the Lin Kuei. Shout out to my homeboy, Sub Zero. When you choose a faction, everything you do in the game, whether it's online with other opponents, whether it's through the Living Tower challenges, whether it's by yourself playing the story, everything that you do in the game contributes to your faction points. Faction points have your faction different weeks winning certain joints. Lin Kuei have won the faction wars a couple of times now. So each game that you play, regardless of what the mode is, what you're doing, it contributes to it. You guys have faction kills. When you first start off the game and you first have a faction, I believe you have to get to at least level 5 in your faction to do the first uh, faction kill. I'm the Lin Kuei. I'm going to tell you right now, the first move, it brings a Mortal Kombat favorite on the screen. The homeboy Smoke comes in. Bam. Turns into smoke, disappears. Boom. Takes your head off. It only leaves from the bottom lip and teeth portion on your face. So the upper half of your head, gone. And that's one of the faction kills on Mortal Kombat X. That's just one of them. They're very easy to pull off, um, and they take the full screen damage. So, I mean, full screen distance to pull off. So, if your opponent is here, you don't want to be right up on him. Want to move over here and pull off the motion. My bad, radio AFG sign. My bad. Anyway, you want to be a full screen distance away from him before you pull it off. Very easy hold block for the Lin Kuei. It's either forward or backwards twice from the D pad after you hold the R2 button to do their um, faction kills. The second one you can't pull off until you reach a certain level. I'm I think I'm at like 30 something in my faction level and at around 20 or 25 i don't really remember i got unlocked the second faction kill and this one has a shitload of shuriken come hit your mid and upper torso and then one just hits you swap right between the eyes you fall back you're out of there secondary faction kill for the Lin Kuei. i've covered it all the story mode is hot once again Earth realm in danger it needs to be saved, and that's not really giving you any of the story away. So you have to go ahead and play it yourself in order to find out in depth what the story actually holds. I do not want to ruin it for anybody, but once I actually complete the story mode, I'm going to do a bunch of let's play live videos to where I'm going to go through the story, put it up on my YouTube page, then I'll do a review live on Mortal Kombat X on a let's review live episode, and you guys can expect to see that in the next coming days and weeks. Make sure you look out for that on my YouTube.com forward slash five deuce gun page that's youtube.com forward slash the number five d-u-e-c-e-g-u-n online that is another characteristic of the game that some folks may or may not like i don't know if you guys are in the tournament play i don't know if you play online casually but this is a fighting game I don't know what your experiences have been on fighting games online, whether you're playing Guilty Gear or Blaze Blue, uh, Battle Fantasia, uh, Street, any of the Street Fighter 4 iterations. Uh, shit. Basically, just anything that will have you fighting somebody else online, regardless of what the the, the version is, what the song, what the track, uh, the, the 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 game is, whatever. One thing we're going to talk about 
about the online, ladies and gentlemen. And it's infamous on every online game that has ever existed. From the first PlayStation 2 with the network adapter to the original Xbox online with Xbox Live, all the way up to the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. Online lag is very prevalent and it has been and it forever will be. We're going to talk about online fighting on Mortal Kombat X coming right back from this next musical break. And the track that we're about to play is coming from a youthful group. I say youthful because when it was recorded, these guys were around 15 and 16 years old. It comes from the homeboys, the Blackout Boys, featuring yours truly, Young Hawk the Fire Deuce Gun. And the track is entitled Fire, live on Radio AFG. Let's go. See the ladies and gentlemen, we right back at like we ain't never left. It's Radio AFG Live. That track you just got finished and listening to was the Homeboys, the Blackout Boys, featuring yours truly, the Five Dudes Gun, with fire on this. Have you played Mortal Kombat X Wednesday now, Thursday night? Thursday morning. I thank y'all for rocking out with me this evening. Greatly appreciate that. You guys can check out uh, if you're watching it live.
Thank you very much. Support you guys, and you support me too. So, round of applause to the supporters and the viewers out there who do their thing. I thank you very much for y'all contributions and y'all time, because you could be doing anything right now, and I thank you for taking the time out to watch me, whether it's as a rebroadcast on my YouTube page or whether it's live right now on Twitch. Now, I let you guys know before we went to the last musical selection that the next topic and the last topic that we're going to be discussing of Mortal Kombat X is online. I don't buy games just to play them online. And I have Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Let me see what else is famous for online. NBA 2K15, MLB15, Show, Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse, WWE 2K15, uh, Bloodborne in a capacity, Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires, Diablo 3, uh, Reaper of Souls, Ultimate Evil Edition. You know, just to name a few things, and I don't buy those things because they have a crazy co-op or multiplayer, uh, competitive multiplayer online experience. I get them because I want to enjoy the solo player experience. And if it's so remedies, or not remedies, but if it's so, uh, and if it so pleases me at the end of me experiencing the solo player campaign and everything I can do as a single player, then I'll go ahead and start working on the multiplayer aspects of said game. Mortal Kombat X doesn't disappoint when it comes to being able to get online to play, even though it does take anywhere from 20 to 40 seconds to connect to a ranked or player match online. And that's just a one on one. I haven't done a tower or a king of the hill or anything like that. That's just one on one ranked and player matches I've done. And as I said, in my rank, uh, I am four and four, I believe, or five and four in terms of my record win loss on my rank matches. Uh, unranked matches, the player matches, I think I'm like 3-0 and or something like that, or 3-1. and um, It's been a good, it was it was a good and bad experience because, like, I have an excellent connection. My Verizon Fios is the top speed you could possibly get. On top of that, I'm not using it as Wi-Fi. I got it directly Ethernet plugged into my PS4. That being said, the, the lag issue is not coming from my end. It comes from the pinging issues on the other end, person's end. They do show you a small graphic of what that person's signal strength is with a three bar radius. When they're not lit up at all, their signal strength is shit. The bottom one you'll see red, the middle one will be yellowish, the third one will be green with all three of them lit up. And it's very rare that I've seen somebody with all three. I mean, you got spammers that just spam projectiles like Kano could just throw knobs really quickly across the freaking screen, just throw knobs at you. So if the lag and the timing of you jumping or blocking is off, you're just going to get caught in a barrage of knives. I mean, there were several times I just stayed still and was holding block and got nailed by these things. So I think they need to improve the net code and patch up some of the lag issues because I don't want to play a shit ton of uh, ranked matches and play against guys who are like 285 and 4. And I'm thinking, how the fuck are they 285 and 4? I'm about to see some crazy combos. Nope. The joint just say fight and they immediately start tossing projectiles. And I'm starting to say, wait a minute, I can't block. And you can hear the person laughing or something like that in the background. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like, I know you're about to do this. Like, I'm not just spamming buttons. I know you're about to throw the knives. I know I should block, try to jump over, have this in my head. And yet, I keep getting hit with these things. I see the lag in it, and that pisses me off. I think that could be the only negative thing I have to say about the Mortal Kombat X game, is that the online needs to be tweaked a little bit to say the least in order to have the net code support online gaming especially for the one-on-one -on -one matches where there isn't a lobby of other human opponents waiting for their turn a la king of the hill you could actually be one-on-one -on -one and there's still lag between button presses and the actual action taking place on screen with your character don't know how it is on the other end but apparently certain people have found exploits to the game already that kind of turns me off of the ranked matches online even though i'm five and four or four and four uh, it kind of turned me off of because I don't want to be spammed with projectiles because I can't block one time even though I'm holding block the entire time. <laughs> that being said, if you guys don't already have it, if you own an Xbox One, if you don't have a PlayStation 4, go out, grab Mortal Kombat X. I have the GameStop exclusive limited edition. Comes with the fucking combat pass. You get all four of the DLC characters that are going to make their way. Tremor, Tanya, uh, Jason Voorhees and the Predator. You also get a shitload of skins, about 15 skins. You get the Samurai Pack. It comes inside with the Cold War Scorpion skin. It's a good pickup for the price. And if you're a Mortal Kombat fan, if you played last year's, I mean, 2013's Mortal Kombat Revision on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, you are definitely going to enjoy Mortal Kombat X. I guarantee that. 
I will be doing a Mortal Kombat X giveaway in the beginning of next month. So everybody that is interested in winning a free copy of Mortal Kombat X on Xbox One or PlayStation 4, make sure you guys submit an email to the 5 deucegun at gmail.com. That's D-A, the number 5, D-U-E-C-E-G-U-N at gmail.com. I'll go out and get another copy, get you guys set up, whatever one you want to get, let me know. But make sure that when you send the email in, put in Radio AFG Live MKX contest so I know that you sent that in for that, not just sending an email in. Please either put in the header or write in the damn subject body, Radio AFG Live MKX Contest. I'm going to randomly pick out a person. Once I pick that individual, I'm going to contact them and ask them which console they would like the game on. And I will go out and get them a copy of NetherRealm Studios and WB Games Mortal Kombat X. Holla at your boy. <laughs> they gave me that instead. By the way, if you guys want to join me in playing Mortal Kombat X anytime online for kicks or in rink matches, you can hit me up on the PlayStation Network via uh, um, HBK2K8. That is my primary account. So once you hit that up, send me the request. I'll accept you. I don't be bullshitting people. If you send me a request, yes, I do accept your damn request. I don't have you looking like an idiot. That being said, there's a secondary uh, there's a secondary account that you guys can hit up and go ahead and do that. Send me an invite to both. It is Hawk 2K14. That's H A A K 2K14. Or my primary once again at H B K 2K8. All right. Now we're going to get into the last track of the evening. This is by yours truly. It's going to be coming on at Office Week. Again, mixtape coming very soon. And this is the Legacy Freestyle right now on Radio AFG. Let's go, y'all. Tell me where to go, tell me what to do. I'll be right there for you. Tell me what to say, no matter if it's true. I'll say it for you. For you, for you. All this week. I used to be the type of kid that grew up repping that father's mall. Regardless where I'm going or where I'm coming from, tall. About the strip and if I could live in with that I'm balling Up and down steps in 44 that I was walking And crawling up when I was just a young lad tall Was the first system I was trying to steal some coffee Inside of accidentally, that's what they told me I ain't believe it cause that fucking system kind of phony Then I got my Nintendo, my cheese and bologna I ate a silver techno board, I beat up all my homies Kung Fu and Double Dragon Part 2 of course Had to do it, that's just the way that the people bought me up in the hood I got older, I seen a couple homies do that behind the back chatter That label phony, motherfuckers like them since they you And I don't blow them, they blow me, that be my dick nigga, you should know No, no. Worshiping about no chains and no watches. 
Cause if you not listening, then you be plotting. As soon as a nigga start wishing that you niggas drop it. That be an album, then you see the money that you profit. What becomes a man gets a whole fucking profit. But loses the soul in the prizes. And that's some knowledge that you don't want to hear. Nah, no, Hakeem, that's just some nonsense. And that's exactly why I don't hate random guys since. Cause they talking all that nonsense. And this is my <laughs> Radio AFG Live with my boy Young Hawk. Let's get it. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Young Hawk, the five dudes gun. I want to thank y'all for rocking out with me. That track you just got finished listening to is coming off that office wig. Again, mixtape coming soon to that pith and mixconnect.com. Make sure you look out for that. It's called the Legacy Freestyle. I will put that up on my SoundCloud coming up later on, so look out for that. Should be up there tomorrow morning. You will get it. Thank you for joining me on this. Have you played Mortal Kombat X Wednesday now, Thursday? If you guys haven't played it yet, make sure you get somewhere and do it. It's available right now on the standard edition for $59.99. I don't believe any of those Scorpion Collector's Edition from Course for $149.99 are available in store, so you may have to find those online, and the prices of them are probably skyrocketed. Different stores, I believe, had their own limited editions, so they are hundred dollars They come with the downloadable content pack, so make sure you guys look out for that. Thanks for joining me on Radio AFG Live. Get the Mortal Kombat. It's your boy, Young Hawk, the Five Dudes Gun, signing off. I will see you guys here tomorrow night for Radio AFG Live. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.